Alexis uh, and today I have some errands to run and um, <clears throat> I need another video to film another video with. That didn't make any sense, but you'll see what I mean. Um, so I thought why not kill two birds with one stone and do like a chit chat, get ready with me. So let's do that. I don't think I've ever done a chit chat get ready with me video, so this may be terrible. Who knows? We'll find out. So I'm just going to use my NYX Photo Loving Primer to prime my face. Uh, next I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I'm in the shade Light 48. And I'm just going to apply that with the Real Techniques um, um, uh, uh, Mira... <laughs> no, not the Miracle Complexion Sponge. What am I talking about? Where did it go? This one. What are you? Expert face brush. That's it. Alrighty, concealer. Where is it? I'm using my NYX HD concealer. Why did I close my mirror? That was pretty dumb. And I'm just gonna conceal under my eyes. So you guys have probably noticed that I've been like totally killer when it comes to doing two videos a week now. <clears throat> and if you're new here, you might think that's my actual schedule, but it's not. Um, it's kind of been a fluke that I've been able to do two videos a week. Um, but that's, like, my official schedule is still every Friday. And these other videos that come up during the week are, like, bonuses, basically. I don't want to say, oh yeah, I do two videos a week. And have that be my official schedule. Because with the holidays coming up, um, I work retail. So that's going to be, my schedule is just going to be crazy. So I don't want to promise you guys that I can do two videos a week every week now and then something happens during the holiday season where my schedule is just so crazy that I'm not able to do two videos a week. So enjoy this while you can because I don't know if I'll be able to keep this up through the holidays. And I would love to be able to do two videos a week and have that be like my official schedule. But holidays, man, they're gonna kill me. So yes, maybe after the holidays, I can officially do two videos a week. But as of right now, they're kind of just like bonus videos just set all that concealer with my MAC blot powder. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. Oh, I might as well zoom you guys in. Do my eyebrows, do my eyebrows. Eyebrows. <laughs> what just happened? Oh god, you guys, I'm like losing it. Where's my pencil? It's not coming out. Oh, there it is. Are you guys watching Dancing with the Stars? Does anyone watch Dancing with the Stars? Because I've been watching it. And, okay, well, first off, I don't understand how Paula Dean made it so much farther. Well, not so much farther, but I don't understand how Gary Busey went home before Paula Dean. Um, I love Gary Busey. He was great. He's like a weird, quirky dude, and I can totally respect and appreciate that. Like, Gary Busey's such a weird guy, and I don't think people can really appreciate him the way he would like to be, or the way I think he should be appreciated. And he was doing, like, an excellent job. I mean, you know, he's not doing, he wasn't doing, like, Val or Derek kind of dancing, but he was doing great. And I was really sad to see him go. I just really liked Gary Busey. But uh, I am totally Team Bindi. She is doing amazing. Um, yes, Team Bindi. Although I do also really like Alexa Vega, but that may stem from um, my love of Spy Kids. And I also didn't know until Dancing with the Stars that, oh wow, I can't talk with my eyebrows and do them at the same time. But I did not know that her and Carlos from Big Time Rush were married. I had no idea. But if they have to mention it one more time, I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna quit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna quit, but I'm gonna quit. Cause I have to bring it up like every episode. Like we get it, you're married, that's your wife, that's your husband. Great, fantastic. Stop bringing it up. It has nothing to do with anything. Just stop it. But I love Alexa. Uh, let's see, who else? Who else? There's Tamar, is that how you say her name? Tamar Braxton, who I'm not very familiar with at all really, besides the fact that she's, you know, Tony Braxton's sister, but she's doing, she's like off and on good. Um, Val definitely has the kind of patience and tough love that she needs, so they did a really good a uh, job there, placing them together. Well, one brow is coming out darker than the other. Um, so good for them. If I was on Dancing with the Stars, because let's be real, I would love to be on Dancing with the Stars. Um, I always go back and forth on if I want to dance with Derek or if I want to dance with Val, because I love both of them. I love the intensity that you can get out of Val that I don't think you can really get with Derek. Derek's, Derek's too happy for me sometimes. I can't handle that. Like, Derek, you, you gotta stop. You can't be like that all the time. But at the same time, I think I need that kind of happy, preppy, way too positiveness that Derek has that I may not be able to get out of Val. I don't know. I think about this too much. And in the end, if for some reason I do ever end up on Dancing with the Stars, let's let's be real, that's a long shot here, um, that is out of my power. <laughs> I do not get to pick who I dance with. The show does. So, ABC, if you're watching, Val or Derek, please and thank you. I mean, I have some dance training. I just don't have formal dance training. Um... I did ballet, tap, and jazz for a few years, so I have like some basics, some basic understanding, but I definitely cannot jive or cha-cha or samba. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a simple, quick, maybe one step eyeshadow look, or one color eyeshadow look, it's definitely not one step, but it's one color. Um, and for that, I am going to use, where did it go? This Kat Von D shadow. This is one of the Metal Crush eyeshadows in the shade Synergy. That is what that looks like. I'm just going to shove this all over my eye. I was getting a vanity. However, when it came and I um, started putting it together, it turned out to be like the smallest vanity ever. It was a vanity for ants. So when I was on the website, and I ordered this off of the Target website, um, it only gave me numbers for the dimensions. It didn't say like feet or inches or centimeters, anything. It was just numbers. So it's like, can't really gauge how big or how small this thing is going to be when it just gives you numbers and no actual unit of measurement. Uh, so then when I got it, I started putting it together, and it was tiny. So if you could try to imagine this, I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm a little short, um, on the short side, I guess. It came up to my hip. <laughs> it came up to, like, the underside of my hip. That's how tall this, this vanity was, or how short it was, I should say. It was tiny. So, like, even though I'm not particularly tall... That was not enough space or room for me to be able to sit comfortably and, you know, be able to see what I'm doing and have enough space for all my stuff and all of that. So I returned that vanity yesterday to the Target store that I work at. Um, so my vanity journey is still continuing and I was going to do a whole video about that vanity that I was getting and I was really excited for it. Um, and then it turned out to be a vanity for ants. So I'm thinking I might just get a desk with some like, um, not Alex shelves, but like the clear storage 
um, I cannot think of the word, drawers, cabinets, there you go. Um, I think I might just do that instead, because just the vanity journey right now is too difficult for me. So that was that. So I just put that color all over my lid and a little bit in the crease, and I'm also going to take that on my lower lash line. This brush is dirty. It came out blue. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna reconceal it. <laughs> and see if that'll help. Alrighty, well, that happened. Oh well. So that's what I'm working with, I guess. But we're just gonna move on. So I'm gonna do my tight line and my water line. I'm not even in frame. Ugh. I can't get my life together, guys. So I'm gonna do my tight line and my water line with um, black, quick curl, and put on some mascara, using the same mascara I always use, which is Lights, Camera, Splashes. Okay, mascara is on, that's the eyes done. Um, this side still looks bluer and sadder than the other side does, but I can't bring myself to care, really. If anyone asks, Maybe I'll say I'm pulling off like a Kat Von D kind of look, because you know how she always has a different colored eyeshadow on each eye? I'll just say I'm doing that. It doesn't look too bad, though. I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. You can't even, like, see the words or anything on it anymore, but oh well. And I'm just going to bronze up my face. Bronzer, bronzer, add some color. Bronzer, bronzer. Whoops. Hair's in my way. Next is blush. I'm using the same blush I always use, which is MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. And I'm just gonna swipe it on. So, I have learned that I'm not good at these. Uh, chit chat, get ready with me, so don't expect a lot of fun. To finish it up, I'm using one of the lipsticks from the Sephora Give Me More Lip Set, and that is this beauty. Oh my god, can we just look at this? Look at how beautiful that is. That's gorgeous. I just can't. So this is the um, YSL Rouge Per Couture, which I'm sure I'm not saying right. And this is in number one, Le Rouge. And it is just red. I love it. Gorgeous! Yes. Oh, it's just great. Just great. Just great. Final step is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So that is that done. And I did cheat and look in the mirror and the eyes don't look too totally different, so good with me. That is that. So, uh, thank you for chit-chatting with me. I don't know how well this is gonna go over, so I appreciate your feedback. Um, yes, that's it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the links to all my social media will be down in the description, so check me out there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys... I don't know what day I'm posting this, but I will see you again. <laughs> Bye!